What's up guys, my name's Nat Chronic Dose here on this Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be talking about the weekly update for July 17, 2018. Today is the uh, Aphrodite July update, a lot of stuff coming here in the July update. Is that my ship? I think that's my ship over there, black with red. Uh, don't break my ship! So this update's gonna have a bunch of things, including exotic armor buffs, it's gonna have the prestige raid layers, miscellaneous changes, uh, and bug fixes like 6v6 quick play, rumbles, permanent, however it is the weekly right now, so it's a little weird. A whole bunch of stuff coming with the July 17 patch. Um, there might even be bounties coming with this, but um, I can't be certain. Uh, they were kind of confusing in the last uh, this week at Bungie. Uh, but check out the previous blog posts and uh, other websites and other videos uh, for more updates on that. Pretty much we've got to wait until 11, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time until we can really discover whether or not everything is in the game. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the weekly update, all the things that are going on this week. First off, Flashpoint is on IO, which also means that Kate's maps are also on IO. If you wanted to get Flashpoint, you have to go to IO. It's somewhat of a uh, dreary planet, but you got Asher Mirror, so I mean, it makes it a little bit better. Nightfall this week is Inverted Spire. That's gonna be the one with the uh, big Minotaur looking dude at the end. Not really a Minotaur, kind of just like a, a big old walker dude. It's the thing that came with the beta. We know it, we love it. It's a bit of a short one, so definitely when it comes to points, you're gonna get to the end very quickly. If you're looking for the Nightfall Unique, the Nightfall Unique for this particular one is the uh, Trichromatica shell. That changes colors from blue to red to uh, purple, like as if it were like prism or something, and it just keeps changing colors. It doesn't say what perks it is, it says it's completely set of random perks, um, but I thought it wasn't. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it could be a completely random set of perks uh, it's an exotic shell, um, and it seems like something I definitely want to go get to add to my collection, but not particularly amazing because it doesn't guarantee you anything. It's still very random. Again, the best way to get the unique is to get a high score, and then of course do a bunch of low score runs after that uh, to see uh, if you can get a good drop. Coming up next on the Crucible uh, rotation is Rumble, as I mentioned. Rumble does count towards your Valor rank, so that, per that orange rank there. Don't look at my red rank. Uh, that counts for that orange rank. So if you wanted to get some of that orange rank, the Valor rank, and you wanted to do some Rumble, that is there for you this week. Let's talk Eververse. Something that I did notice last week, I wanted to mention. Uh, last week, I mentioned, I saw this thing right here. All items acquired. I thought this meant these things. But then I tried using it. And I realized I couldn't use it. And technically, you're supposed to be able to get things even after you get all of these items. You're supposed to be able to use it and get items that you've never gotten before um, that um, are not part of this list or just get an item that's not on this list. It says all items acquired. All of them. Every single one of them. Can you, can you believe that? Can you I literally looked at this engram. I've looked at all these different sections. And it says I've gotten every single... Okay, well, maybe not that one. Uh, I've gotten every single one of them. Like, you highlight, it says already added to collection on every single item. I could not believe it. Obviously, there's things like the fighting lion and all that stuff that I didn't get. Um, but, uh, you know, there's, you know, obviously some things you didn't get. But because those things are paid. And I don't want to pay for extra things I don't have to. Anyways, let's talk about what's going on in here. First off, this is a ship that came out with the first Prismatic Matrix. A lot of people have this, and by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. It seems to be the most uh, common, unique ship out there. People love this thing because it looks really cool um, and is very, very unique. You got the Huckleberry ornament for uh, the Huckleberry, the Devil's Work, to make it look like this if you wanted it. I got this pretty early on, to be honest. Uh, you got the Hold On. This is one of my favorite emotes. I highly recommend it. Literally, this is the whole emote, and then it continues forever. Just being like this... Uh, it's just really fun and uh, funny to, to use for people just being like, what do you need? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Which I think is nice. Everything else is not particularly amazing. Zeus like physique, you basically do what the image shows you. Uh, you, 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 you flex for the camera. That's all it really is to it. Coming up next, let's talk about this little package here. This destructive research bundle. It has the ornament for the Polaris Lance and it has a couple of these things. I have never thought, found these to be useful. Uh, first of all, this exotic ornament has a longer barrel. That's one of the things that you should know about it, other than the color. It has a very, very long barrel, whereas the original does not. Again, this is 900 silver, about $10. I don't recommend it. None of these things that have ever been sold, I don't think are worth it. They're nothing spectacular or exclusive, and I think that that's, um, that's a big problem. I mean, sometimes they're exclusive, but like, who cares about a fighting line? Am I right? <laughs> 
Um, and uh, as far as these next few things, you've got the callus clap, you've got the cranking dance, which I found is really, really fun. Uh, basically, uh, uh, cranking a lawnmower and then cranking a flying lawnmower. It's one of my favorite things. Um, it's very fun to do. This does look like one of my favorite styles of, um, of sparrows. It's very unique. It's very interesting. Obviously, it's the same model but with like some triangles on it, but I like triangles, okay? Other things, not very important. Vigilance wing ornament looks pretty nice. I really do like it, although I like the other one better, the, the winged one that looks more like this. Uh, crimson ornament, if you wanted to get crimson stuff. And as far as everything else, the shaders, I use Mumblebee sometimes, but the other ones, not as much. I'm gonna head over to uh, Mr. Cumberbatch himself, and I'll see you guys when I get over there. That's weird. Borealis usually sets to void every time you die or bring it out, but when it's on your back, it's arc. What's up with that? Emperor advising Cumberbatch. There's a couple of things that are interesting on sale. First of all, helmet, arms, and class item are prestige. You got also the Argos chest and legs. If you're looking to make a fat titan set, uh, this is what you need to do. Actually, I think I might be doing this because I, I want a fat titan set. So I can have my titan look like a big old fat uh, ladybug. Or not a bug, a beetle bug. Not a ladybug. Uh, finally, the weapon is Ghost Primus. It's kind of just an averaging assault rifle at 600 RPM. It just seems like a duty bound without Rampage. And a duty bound without Rampage is a little sad, because Rampage is what makes duty bound awesome. And this one, you know, obviously has reductions in, in recoil and extra range or whatever or something. Uh, but I, I, it's just an averaging assault rifle. It's nothing particularly interesting. Again, all you want from here is the hand cannon, the rocket, and the pulse rifle. Those are the only ones that are really spectacular in this list of Benedict. Anyways, that's the video for guys today. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you had any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. A lot of stuff happening to today. Again, I highly recommend you check out some blog posts, maybe some of my previous videos about what's going on on the 17th. A whole bunch of different things, including the raid layers, are going out with the prestige. So let's see who gets worlds first on these items. I'm rooting for my clan. Uh, the requires a turna. They, uh, they got first in France, I think, on the last three. Uh, raids or whatever and they're trying to go for worlds first so uh, shout out to them they're gonna be going in about 30 minutes or so and uh, we're gonna see who gets worlds first obviously I'm not going to get worlds first so I'm just gonna wait for them to to pick me up and carry me if I'm gonna be honest <laughs> anyways I uh, hope you guys did enjoy make sure you stay tuned tomorrow hopefully I'll have some raid layer content about that me and Ikora are gonna have a, an interesting discussion oh she looked at me yes um can we get some more advertising for noodle box New box! Yeah, that's, uh, that's the only thing I have to say. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!